So let's talk about frozen pipes a little bit. And why does a frozen pipe end up being a big deal in terms of making a real mess? Well, to talk a little bit about frozen pipes, let's talk about water and what water does when it freezes. When water freezes, it expands. And whatever is holding that water is not going to be able to really contain it. So if it's a pipe, it freezes, that water expands within that pipe, and that's when that pipe can burst. You got heat on the building, don't you? And doesn't that keep the pipes from, from uh, the water inside the pipes from freezing? If you set the, you know, the temperature at 55, does that maintain 55 throughout the whole building? That's the question. You've got attics, you've got basements, crawl spaces, a lot of places where pipes are at. Is that temperature in those areas being maintained no lower than 55 degrees? Unfortunately, what we find is sometimes it's not. Those are areas that may be against, say, uh, an outside wall or just an area that's not insulated as well as other areas in these crawl spaces or attics that we mentioned before. It's not a bad idea to have a thermometer in those areas just to watch what that temperature is. Uh, again, those areas should not be any, any colder than 55 degrees. So that may mean maintaining a higher temperature than 55 in some of the other rooms. So you mentioned thermometers. I, I think we've seen things like notion sensors. That is definitely something people can do. That can help track those temperatures and alert someone if that temperature does reach a certain point. It goes lower than what you want. What about sprinkler systems? But we had a situation where someone showed up to their daycare building. Water is running out into the parking lot, and it was from a frozen pipe. It actually filled the basement and started running out over the door of the, the basement at ground level. Now, I've heard situations where the pipe broke during the day, and water just gushing anywhere. What do you do? You got to shut the water off. And the, the important thing is someone there should have it marked well so that anyone in the building knows where that shutoff valve is. And if they ever run into that situation, they know where to go to have that main valve cut off so that water flow can be stopped. So if you look at the weather forecast and you say, okay, in a couple of days, it's supposed to really get cold, what would you do? First, I'm going to check the temperature in the building. And I'm going to make sure we have it high enough that even those outer areas are going to be warm. They're going to be maintained. Uh, that's the big thing. Something else you can do is let the faucets where the water comes through drip. If you have that steady drip of water going through, that will help keep the pipe from being frozen. Really, the preparation starts well before that. Uh, you really need to know where those pipes are at, what type of insulation you have in those areas. There's products like heat tape. Uh, there's coil. There's different things, uh, sleeves that you can actually put onto pipes to actually keep them from freezing. Most lines do have a drain that you can shut the water off and then bleed out or drain what's running through those lines so there's no water sitting there. Uh, the one thing you never want to do is, in the effort to try to save money, turn the heat way down. Uh, even if you're not expecting it to get cold, because if that cold snap does come through and you're not prepared for it, it's going to catch up. Yeah, and I've seen people calling here and said, well, we just didn't have any heat on our building. Well, that's just a bad idea. It is. And there might not even be insurance coverage if you didn't if you turn the heat off in your building. If, if you come into a situation where pipes are frozen, it's possible you could unfreeze that, thaw it out. Uh, never use something like a blowtorch or anything like that, but a hairdryer. That works well. If you know one area that's frozen, you can take a hair dryer and run it through that and possibly thaw it out. You know, if you come in and you turn the water on and you find that you don't have the pressure or it's a drip, then you can suspect the frozen pipe. So that's when you really need to start looking for it. So we want to tell folks, stay warm, keep your buildings warm and avoid a mess and live life and enjoy it. And, uh, Dennis will, will let you wear his fleece jacket that says Bittner Henry and shirt. It's warm. It's warm.